Okay, here's the situation. Everybody pay attention. Class, listen up. You ready? It is third and 10, critical down, no matter the situation, in your own territory. Tie ball game, minute and 11 seconds left on the clock. We've got to score before the half. Absolutely have to score before the half. So, what are we doing? They're throwing the daggone football, and they are absolutely ripping it. JT is freaking ripping the ball, okay? Check this one out. Oh, thanks thanks for the golf clap, Carson. Broderick over there with his hands in his, basically in his pants. Landers got a daggum blanket over his legs, okay? We got three offensive guys over here just doing God knows what. What are they doing? I don't know. Why are they doing it? I don't know. Why am I frustrated? Why are you frustrated, Brooks? Well, I'll show you why I'm frustrated. Here's why I'm frustrated, okay? Here's all the offensive assistants. And all the offensive staff members, Munkin's up in the box. Okay, let's show you a tie, a better clip of it. Okay, here they all are. Let's see, we got Jaden Johnson, Cedric Van Pran, number eighty, Arian Smith, Lad McConkey. Um, who else we got back there? We got almost the entire. I see Xavier Trust right there. Um, looks like Owen Condon, the uh, long snapper who probably doubles as a fullback in critical situations, maybe possibly. Um, Quite literally everybody. Trey McKitty's over there because he's not in the formation right now. Every single member of the offense is right behind the coaching staff. Right behind the coaching staff encouraging their – not only encouraging their teammates, but, hey, what happens if Jamari Sawyer's helmet pops off right now? Broderick Jones? Huh? Xavier Truss is getting those reps. What happens if – oh, well, George Pickens has already got your helmet, Matt. But let's say it falls off. Ain't nothing keeping you from running on the field and putting this helmet on. What are we doing? Carson, I know you're two down the depth chart in the quarterback spot. It's probably, at least Stetson came in second on Saturday. But hey, you're the third string quarterback. Don't you think you should have a set of headphones on listening to the play call and taking mental reps? Don't you think that's what a professional would do? I'm just asking. I mean, everybody thinks the stuff on the sideline don't count, but it does. I'm telling you right now, coaches ain't watching the the end zone, the, the TV cut up, so they ain't going to catch you. But guess what? Because I'm not at practice this year, I can't judge your body language, but I just found out everything I need to know about number five, number 59, and number 15 at this current state, where they are mentally and where they are with their support of their teammates. Everything I need to know right there. Tie ball game, minute and six left on the clock, two-minute drill. The offense is up. Your butt's on the heated seat warmers over there on the bench with your hands in your pocket. Next clip. Now, we just got done roasting some younger football players. Matt Landers, sorry, you're a little older guy. You should know better. Absolutely should know better. How about a young guy that's growing? How about a young guy that's picking up on it? Okay, if y'all remember the breakdown from Mississippi State a couple weeks back, Jermaine Burton caught a hitch just like this, just like this. And he broke the first tackle, and instead of getting out of bounds, he fought to break the second one. Stopped there, kept the clock rolling. They burned a timeout, or I don't I don't know if they burned the timeout. They didn't score, okay? It hindered them from scoring. Before they had, they had to kick a field goal. Okay, how about this right here? How about this dude fighting his you-know-what off to get out of bounds and stop the clock. That is a young player who is learning. So, you know what happens? The very next play, what do they do? They come right back to him. Boom. And guess what he does this time? He breaks the tackle and then gets out of bounds. So, there's the difference. Okay? We got one young player who, yeah, he's playing, but he's learning. He's growing. We obviously have young players like, or they have young players like Cedric Van Pran over there learning and growing. Lad McConkey, first time he traveled all season. Guess what he's doing over there? Learning and growing. I got three guys who aren't. Look, everybody else that's on the bench or around the bench, defensive players catching their breath. Except they got three offensive guys over there with their hands in their pants. Trying to stay warm. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it.